Hello everybody, welcome into this Adobe Lightroom tutorial where today we're going to take a look at creating a non-destructive light leak uh, that you can just use to add an element of drama and flair, no pun intended, to any of your images. Now if you do enjoy this tutorial, as I usually try to emphasize at the beginning of my videos, make sure you press the little thumbs up button, it looks kind of like this. And it, uh, well, it does good things for the video, or so YouTube tells me. It just helps, you know, YouTube know, like, this is maybe a good video, or this is a bad video. Uh, also, if you like the video, make sure you subscribe to my channel. That way you never miss another photography, Lightroom, Photoshop, or other tutorial in the future. And if you really like what you see, I'll keep this quick. Make sure you pick up a copy of my Photoshop course. There's a link that just appeared right up there somewhere. It's all about how to retouch images in Photoshop. I know, not Lightroom, but there is a lot of non-destructive stuff you can do in Photoshop and a lot of really cool stuff at that. It covers a lot of different types of photography, beauty, landscape, babies, portraits, family, all, all sorts of different things in that course. Plus, you support what we're doing here on the channel at Tutvid, and I really greatly appreciate it as well. So without further ado, let's check this bad boy out. So here we are in Lightroom. Let's talk about adding a nice lens flare to any one of these images or just a sort of a solar flare or whatever. We're getting some sun in the image. This is a series of photos from a fashion shoot that I did. Um, I think I will probably add the flare to this image, although a couple of these photos might be conducive to a flare. Um, I really like that one. I really like this one. I don't know. I think we'll stick with this original one. It kind of has a, already feels a little dynamic, feels like it has some drama. Um, and maybe if we add a little lens flare, it will just kind of perk up uh, one of the corners of this photo or multiple corners of the photo. Now, I like to use the adjustment brush for creating a lens flare myself. You could, in theory, use the graduated filter tool, but I tend to like the sort of roundness of the adjustment brush. It's a little bit more natural to the way, um, at least that I feel like I usually see a flare. Now, we're going to begin here by pumping up the temperature of the flare to 100. Now, you could make your flare as orange or not as you like. Maybe you want to pump some magenta into there as well to really make it more of like a red color. It's a very, you know, low-hanging, hot, you know, summer sunset set type lens flare where there's a lot of red in the sky. Maybe that's what you've got. Maybe you want to cool it off a little bit. You have options because everything's totally non-destructive. I also like to boost the exposure, usually a little over two thirds of a stop, something like 0 0.75, but I think I'll probably push it a full stop, 1.00. And I want to get rid of all contrast. So we'll go negative 100 on the contrast uh, because those kind of like spots of light tend to wash out that part of the image, whether you realize it or not. And in the same vein, we'll boost shadows like 50. Uh, and we'll boost blacks up to like 30. So something like that, that's probably cool. And moving down through this, I don't know that I wanna do anything with clarity, dehaze, saturation, sharpness, noise, more, defringing. I probably will go and add a color as well. Again, this all depends on the project. Let's add a color and we can always desaturate the orange a little bit just to make sure it's not too overpowering. And then down here under brush, uh, this is kind of important. We want to boost the size of the brush. We make we want to make it pretty huge. So maybe like 70, 80 on the brush slider. A feather of 100%. So we have absolutely the softest edges to our brush that we can have. Uh, and I'm going to crank the flow up to 100, and this is important. We want to make sure auto mask is not turned on. Density also should be at 100. So now that we've set up the brush, it's, just, it's a matter of simply clicking and adding a flare where you want the flare. You can see, there we go, we added the flare up there. Uh, I can double up the flare by just clicking another time, and that adds even more. Um, now, if you're looking at the image and you're saying, you know what, it's really washing out her skin a little bit too much, I could do something like take the black slider back and just you know set the black slider to like negative 50 and you can see how that adds this really interesting sort of gritty element to it where it's definitely still blasting you know blasting these windows out but we're getting like a nice just sort of the shadows around her hair and her eyebrow her eyes all that still just kind of pops a little bit all right let's just see uh let's see what this looks like on a different photo let's go with this one right here and let's say we add uh the lens flare up here all right so we can add that lens flare and really increase it. There we go, something like that. And again, I think in this case, we will just reduce our blacks a little bit more. Let's knock those blacks down to about 50. And you can see how it just adds that nice punchiness. And if you wanna double up the lens flare, you see over here we have edit selected. Go ahead and just hit new, new. And I'm going to right off the bat, set my blacks to like negative 40 or so. And I'll just click in, uh, click right up there in the top corner another time. And it's gonna double up my lens flare, uh, just like so. So it's, it's pretty, 
it's pretty easy to do and you can go and add a lens flare to any image that you like. It really has to be done well though. You you don't want to add too much, but if you add too little, it doesn't look that noticeable. Um, so you just, you know, you'll play around with it. And when you lay down the lens flare, you can always select it after you've added the lens flare. And you can say, you know what, definitely way too warm, definitely way too bright. And you can just kind of tone that stuff down a little bit if it really needs to be toned down and just make the perfect sort of little pop of color there for your image, for any image in fact, that you may wish to add a lens flare to. So it's a quick little Lightroom tutorial, sort of a light Lightroom tutorial if you will. Uh, if you've enjoyed it, again, make sure you hit the little like button, subscribe to my channel so you don't, so you never miss another Lightroom tutorial in the future or any other tutorial for that matter for creating a light leak lens flare in Adobe Lightroom room using the adjustment brush, but as you see, these settings can be taken and applied to the graduated filter tool as well. That's it. Get it? Got it? Good. Nathaniel Dodson, I'll catch you in the next one.